In today's mobility video, Willow is showing you the lengths she will go to for a belly rub. Aren't you? You're being annoying. Really? Uh, in yesterday's video, there was the dog in the way, but I was trying to uh, explain what I do to prepare my body for a squat. Uh, we all have a lot of tightnesses from some of us sit at a desk all day, uh, some of us are on our feet all day. Uh, these tightnesses build up and it can stop you from getting into a good squat. Um, some people struggle to hit parallel, uh, really want to be getting blow parallel, breaking parallel. Uh, so that video. Right, so the first movements that you can see are side lunges, a little bit like a Cossack squat using the carpet sliders. Uh, this is to help open up the hips. I'm also doing some regular lunges, again using the slider to really help stretch my hips. Uh, you can see I'm doing overhead extension. But again, it's just to get a little bit more out of the stretch uh, from there. I'm going in a world's greatest stretch. So from down dog, bringing my foot forwards, reaching up to get that thoracic rotation. And then after a while, you see me get the foam roller out. Uh, this is to you know, release some of the tightness from working from my hips all the way down my quads. Uh, if I had tightness in my calves, I would also roll them out. Uh, so the foam roller is really good to get warmed up and to loosen off some of that tightness before getting into a squat. You can also see me foam rolling my back. Uh, again, I like to keep my thoracic spine. I do want it to be rigid in a squat, but I also I don't want tightness around it that might pull on my spine. So it's all about spine health, keeping my back safe, my spine safe. And then I am repeating some of the things that I've already done. So I'm doing some more lunges, but you can see I've got a band overhead. Uh, this is just to help activate my upper back. Um, I would, you can also use a pipe or a dowel. Uh, it also engages your core as you, because you're holding something overhead. You're having to engage your core muscles to keep yourself upright so you don't fall over. Again, I'm reaching back with the band a little bit just to get a little bit more of a stretch in my hips. So for me, it's different for everyone, but my tightness is mainly in my hips and that's what stops me from breaking parallel in a squat. So I tend to look at clients, assess where the tightnesses are and then from there we can do different stretches. Uh, this video is a little bit more generalised, uh, you can take from it what you need and introduce it into your warm-up. Hopefully it helps. And you know warming up is great, you know using the bands and the sliders and the foam rollers going through the motions but you do want to add some weight as well. Uh, that's why you can see me getting the kettlebell out and adding a little bit of weight into the squat to really push myself further into that position. And uh, this is before I've even got the barbell out. So at the end uh, here you can just see me doing some glute activation exercises with a glute band around my shins, uh, below my knee and above my knee. I feel like I will have to do an, a separate video just for glute activation, but it is important for squats to use your glutes. Your glutes are so strong. Uh, re really help to add a little bit more weight onto your squat. 